You're right here. That's your friend, your buddy. That's our buddy that's been making all the fire. All the problem, all the smoke, all the glow at night. And then something more over this way too, obviously, because, you know, it'll come from, you know, further over in the corner. But, you know, as you can tell, it's really no time, you little guy. I haven't zoomed in just a bit. Some people are trying to walk over there and get a gander at it. Whatever it is, it must be uh, pretty, pretty good. Pretty amazing, because people are going out there in droves all day long, ever since the 15th or so, ever since last week when it, it really since last week, when it got a little fiery, that fiery video, people have been walking over there in droves, and think about that, it's cold and snowy, and it's got to be worth the walk, right? Think about it. I wouldn't want to trip through the snow just for no reason so sure would like to get eyes on it myself but I really wouldn't want to get that close either so yeah I've already seen several I'd say at least six or eight people walk over there this morning just to check out what it's doing to go get eyes on it and I don't blame them Okay, there's Old Faithful next to it. Not next to it, next to it, but right here. See, it's big. Look how high up it's shooting. It's very alarming. It's probably what's creating many of the blows over in this area in the last week or so. Because we've been having glows that seem like they're coming from the ground and reflecting up on the steam or the clouds and they're all coming from that same area. And you know, these little fumaroles in between. Scary. Like a giant zipper. All right, guys. Well, God bless you. Have a fantastic day. I love the shadows, by the way. In the morning when the sun's coming in. It looks so neat. Oh, my. What a mess. That's all. Oh, it's getting all in and messy again. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's actually going off more than old faithful at this point. Look at that. That's definitely an area of concern. Going off like crazy all night long. God bless you all. Oh, that is one powerful 
I don't even want to call it a geyser anymore. Look at her go. Oh no. It was that kitty alarm noise. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, that's funny. Yeah, this geyser over here to the left has been going, that's the new one, the troublemaker, the one that made the fire. It's been going off all night. Did some crazy stuff. And I think it's so wrong, guys, that we have to be our own reporters. I mean, really, when an eruption from this thing will shut down the airports around the entire planet and cause an ice age for at least three years, probably five minimum, this should be one of the biggest stories on the planet, and it's not. And everybody has the right. They decide if they want to get out of the death zone or not, don't they? So I claim no copyrights or anything to anything I do. Just get the news out. Golly, that is scary. Looks like Apocalypse Valley. So I've noticed, uh, I didn't just notice it, you know, I, I actually was paying attention to some things um, a couple of geologists were saying that uh, Vanuatu seems to directly be affecting everything, but especially Yellowstone activity in Yellowstone within 24 hours. And what's really scary is that that kind of reaction used to take months. Now it takes days. Oh, look, there are people. See? Going to check out the action. No one cares about Old Faithful anymore. They just want to go look at that. <laughs> Sorry about my cold, guys. Alrighty, I highly recommend people get on the live cam and like the USGS, you know, said way back in summer, record it, spread it, get the news out. I think, uh, I think it's going to be a pretty active day and night. But yeah, I need to go do the cold medicine tea, cold medicine and tea thing. My goodness, oh my word, look at that thing go. Wow. That scares the living goodness out of me. It really does. Mostly because of people should know. People should know. God bless you all. Keep you all. May he shine his face upon you. May all of you come to know the love of Lord Jesus Christ. And love each other as much as we can and put our differences aside. And we're all each other has. Even if some people don't realize that right now. God bless you guys.